Have you ever wondered about the complex relationship between art and mathematics? Today we delve into the world of Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Vitruvian Man, a perfect illustration of the harmony between art and mathematics. This iconic drawing represents the ideal human proportions, as defined by the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius. The Vitruvian Man is not just a striking piece of art, it's a mathematical wonder, demonstrating geometric principles in its composition. The man's outstretched arms and legs form a square and circle, two fundamental shapes in geometry. The dimensions of these shapes along with the positioning of the body parts, reflect the concept of symmetry, a key principle in geometry. This isn't random, da Vinci deliberately used these principles to depict the ideal human form. It's an exploration of the human body as a mathematical and anatomical marvel. The Vitruvian Man stands as a testament to the intricate blend of art and mathematics. The Golden Ratio, a fascinating mathematical concept is at the heart of many artistic compositions. This unique proportion, approximately 1.618, is believed to be aesthetically pleasing and it's found everywhere from nature's spirals to architecture to art. Now let's delve into the world of the Vitruvian Man. Here, Leonardo da Vinci masterfully used the golden ratio to structure the human body in his iconic drawing. The distance from the navel to the foot and the navel to the head, the span of the arms, the height, all these dimensions seem to adhere to this magical ratio. But why did da Vinci use this mathematical principle in his art? The answer lies in aesthetics. The golden ratio is said to create harmony and balance, qualities that da Vinci, like many artists, sought in his work. The golden ratio's presence in the Vitruvian Man is a powerful example of mathematics enhancing visual beauty. Leonardo da Vinci wasn't just an artist, he was also a keen observer of the human anatomy. This fascination led him to dissect human bodies, meticulously documenting his findings. His studies went beyond mere observation, delving into the realm of mathematics. He was fascinated by the idea that the human body itself could be a mathematical equation, a concept that was groundbreaking at the time. Da Vinci's anatomical studies fueled his belief in the divine proportion, also known as the golden ratio. He used this principle to create the Vitruvian Man, a figure that embodies both art and mathematics. This figure, drawn within a square and a circle, beautifully demonstrates the relationship between the human form and geometry. His approach was unique, combining art with a scientific understanding of the human body. He used his findings to create art that was not only visually pleasing, but also mathematically accurate. Da Vinci's blend of anatomy and mathematics created a groundbreaking approach to art. The Renaissance was a time of great scientific and artistic advancement, with mathematics playing a central role. This era, bridging the gap between the Middle Ages and modern history, is a testament to how the language of numbers can shape beauty. Mathematics, often unseen, was the silent craftsman in the creation of the Renaissance's breathtaking art. Perspective, a mathematical concept was introduced, transforming two-dimensional canvases into windows of realistic three-dimensional worlds. Artists began to use symmetry, a mathematical principle to balance their compositions creating a sense of harmony and order. Proportions which are mathematical relationships were meticulously studied and incorporated, resulting in pieces that mirrored natural perfection. These techniques were not just mathematical methods, they were tools artists wielded to capture the beauty of the world around them. Mathematics was not an intruder in the realm of art, it was a collaborator, enhancing the artist's ability to evoke emotion and tell stories. Mathematics was a hidden architect, shaping the beauty and precision of Renaissance art. How does mathematics contribute to the harmony and aesthetics we see in art? Let's delve into this fascinating question. Art is not merely an expression of creativity, but a symphony of mathematical principles. The Vitruvian Man is a prime example. Leonardo da Vinci used ratios, symmetry, and geometry to create this masterpiece, illustrating the harmony that mathematics can bring to art. The proportions of the human body, as depicted in the Vitruvian Man, adhere to the golden ratio, a mathematical principle that is often associated with aesthetic appeal. Symmetry, another mathematical concept, is also evident in this piece. The symmetry of the human body, as captured by da Vinci, contributes to the overall harmony of the image. Geometry, too, plays a role in creating aesthetic appeal. The circular and square outlines in the Vitruvian Man are geometric shapes that add balance and harmony to the piece. Mathematics, then, is a silent partner in the creation of beautiful art. Leonardo da Vinci, a polymath, left an indelible mark on the world of art, science, and mathematics. 
Born in the heart of the Italian Renaissance, da Vinci's genius spanned many disciplines, from painting and sculpture to engineering and anatomy. Yet it was his fascination with mathematics that truly set him apart. He believed that the secrets of the universe were written in the language of mathematics, and this belief found expression in his art. His most iconic work, The Vitruvian Man, is a testament to this mathematical obsession. It is a perfect blend of art and science, embodying the principles of proportion, symmetry, and the golden ratio. His mathematical studies also influenced his approach to perspective, light, and shadow in his paintings. No wonder then, that da Vinci is hailed as a pioneer of the scientific revolution. Leonardo da Vinci's life and work continue to inspire us, a testament to the power of interdisciplinary thinking. The representation of the human body in art has evolved significantly over the centuries. If we journey back to ancient times, the Egyptians portrayed the human form in a standardized way, combining different perspectives into a single image. This was not an accurate depiction but it served its symbolic purpose. As we move forward to classical Greece a great shift occurs. Artists began to strive for a more realistic portrayal, studying anatomy and proportions diligently. The Greek sculptor Polykleitos, for instance, even wrote a treatise named The Canon, which laid out his mathematical approach to ideal human proportions. Then came the Middle Ages, where the focus shifted from humanism to spirituality. The human body was often represented in a stylized or abstract manner, reflecting the religious focus of the period. Fast forward to the Renaissance, a time of renewed interest in classical ideals and the human form. This period witnessed a significant fusion of art and science leading to more anatomically accurate representations. A key figure of this era, Leonardo da Vinci, brought an unprecedented level of precision and realism to his depictions of the human body. His iconic work, The Vitruvian Man, is a testament to this. Unveiling a harmonious blend of art and mathematics, it presents a man fitting within a circle and a square, embodying the classical ideals of proportion and symmetry. This drawing is not merely an artistic piece, it's a mathematical exploration, a scientific study, and a philosophical statement about the nature of human existence. In the centuries that followed, artists continued to explore and challenge the representation of the human body, influenced by changing cultural, social, and philosophical landscapes. Today, the human form in art is as diverse as humanity itself, reflecting our complex identities, experiences, and perceptions. The Vitruvian Man marks a significant step in the evolution of human body representation in art. It stands as a symbol of the deep connections between art, science, and mathematics, reminding us of our perpetual quest to understand and express the human condition. Da Vinci's scientific approach was revolutionary, combining art, anatomy, and mathematics. This was no mere coincidence. Leonardo da Vinci was a keen observer of the world around him, a trait that extended to his study of the human body. His detailed anatomical drawings were not just works of art, but scientific explorations, underpinned by rigorous mathematical principles. Da Vinci's method in essence was a blend of observation, experimentation, and artistic representation. He would dissect human bodies, studying their structures and proportions in meticulous detail. Then using his findings, he applied mathematical principles to create accurate and aesthetically pleasing representations of the human form. But it wasn't just about getting the proportions right. Da Vinci was also interested in the harmony and balance of the human body. He saw the beauty in the precision of our anatomy, and used his artistic skills to bring that beauty to life on the canvas. Leonardo da Vinci's scientific method, a blend of observation, experimentation, and artistic representation, still inspires us today. The Vitruvian Man, an image that resonates with us even today. This iconic illustration by Leonardo da Vinci, drawn over five centuries ago, continues to permeate our contemporary culture. It's more than just the famous sketch of a man inside a circle in a square. It's a symbol of the beautiful intersection of art and mathematics. You'll find its influence in everything from modern architectural designs to the logos of international corporations. It's been parodied in pop art, referenced in literature and has even made appearances in blockbuster films. But beyond its cultural significance, the Vitruvian Man has an enduring impact on mathematical education. It's a tangible representation of the golden ratio, a concept that's foundational to geometry and algebra. The image serves as a visual aid that helps teachers demystify complex mathematical theories. In essence, the Vitruvian Man remains a powerful symbol of the harmony between art and mathematics. Mathematics and art, two seemingly disparate fields, often intertwine in intriguing ways. 
The intricate dance between these disciplines streams from the profound realization that they both speak the language of patterns and structures. Picture this, a mathematician, an artist, both deciphering the world through their respective lenses, yet finding common ground in the pursuit of truth and beauty. By embracing an interdisciplinary approach, we can harness this symbiotic relationship to fuel creativity and innovation. Think of the Vitruvian Man, Da Vinci's iconic masterpiece, a testament to this fusion. Here, the artist's brushstroke meets the mathematician's theorem, creating a harmonious blend of aesthetic appeal and precise calculation. This interplay of math and art not only enriches our understanding of both fields but also inspires new perspectives, ideas, and solutions. It's a reminder that silos limit potential, while cross-pollination of disciplines illuminates the path to breakthroughs. The intersection of mathematics and art offers exciting possibilities for discovery and innovation.